which then just have the lane and, and the dance group. The range of the mid 1930s, right up to about 2004, I think we've got on display here. I'm uh, going to take the guess of this is the uh, Atkinson view liner. Now this is uh, quite a rare vehicle in itself. I've only ever seen this one in fact in pictures. There's a many rallies that I attend over the years. Uh, I've never seen one in the flesh. Then we've got the Steyr. Now Steyr, Steyr Pooch, also produced uh, motorcycles, uh, part of, uh, along the lines of the Mercedes group. The minor pickup. Let's not forget that commercial vehicles come in all shapes and sizes. Anything from sort of 300 weight right up to 100, 150 ton ballast tank units. It's very important when we talk about commercial vehicles not to forget the underdogs, as some people call them, the smaller of the commercials, because they would have been owned by every company on our high street, from the butcher, the baker, the candlestick baker. The little pickup is followed by the shower bank. I don't know whether this one's a... Yes, it's a Dennis. Very similar to the uh, Dennis Pax line. Like about 1910, we have the Dennis Pax. I don't know what model this is, but we will go and have a chat with the owner in a minute when they park up through the centre. The Chinese 6 ERS now, with the two crawlers on the back, the Marshall, uh, well, the two Marshalls on the back. Called the Chinese 6, the uh, two steering axles in the front, and a foreign well configuration, and the two crawling axles and the one steer axle. The ERS, now this is uh, powered by the Rolls Royce Eagle engine. The Eagle Diesel was also used in the Scammell range of lorries uh, with the military, the Scammell Crusader. The Ford Cargo. Now back in the 80s, there wouldn't have been a street that we wouldn't have had have a Ford Cargo on it. Road train, the 2032. We don't see many of its preservation, and to see one on the showground again is absolutely lovely. The comma, I'm going to take the assumption that this one is powered by the Perkins diesel engine, uh, possibly a Perkins 6354. Again, in the 60s, 70s, and going into the 80s, the TK is an iconic truck. There wouldn't have been a planned company that would not have had a Bedford TK. Unfortunately, the TK did come to its demise in the mid-70s because Ford brought out the D-Series with the tilt cab. The Leyla Beaver. Now the Austin, uh, also come in other guys here, but the FG, the um, Morris FG was uh, another one, Thrutney Bit Cab, if you take a bird's eye view of the cab, it's in the shape of a Thrutney Bit. They come in uh, diesel and petrol variants. Third 
first on the arena today, uh, at Dennis. I am going to have a wander over and see the uh, information on the site of this one. So yeah, the Dennis Lancet J3. Let's not really get that confused with the uh, Bedford J2s, which were known as the Bling Buses. The Bedford CA van, the, uh, the sliding was on the side, used by many a different uh, company, your butchers and your baker's vans, and all of your sort of uh, little shop supplies. They would have been doing house deliveries. The Volvo 86, the, uh, look, he, he's trying to run me over desperately. Volvo F86, followed on by the F88. And then moving on to the slightly newer Volvo F10. I do have a particular affection for the Volvos. Quality, brand, and reliability. The RF EC14. The RS, uh, Edwin Richard Foden. The Bedford Bolt Tipper. There was a lorry that was produced very similar to this here, Bedford, uh, also known as a pack horse, the Ford Transit panel van. Again, Ford Transit, a mainstay in our builders' fraternity, anywhere from the 1950s right up until the present day. The series abilities. Another transit with the aluminium drop side body on the back. The Jeep, I don't know whether this is a Ford Jeep that's going around uh, on the far side of the arena, but like I say, we will go and have a chat with some of the owners. Another series Land Rover. Let's not forget that the Land Rover's come in all shapes and sizes, short wheelbase, long wheelbase, rack tops, half tops. And a very interesting one there, just behind that one. The Ford D series. The facelift model on that one there, in the uh, livery of BD Pound and so.
fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody for bringing the tractors. And thank you all for coming. It's very much appreciated. Oh, no, I forgot, Billy. I told you it wasn't live. What's your name, boss? Rob. It's Bob, and he feels like he has been. Well done, Rob. Thank you very much. And thank you very much to the tech leader, Steve Harley. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, it's been a great rally. Uh, look